Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We're driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. So let's talk Wilkes University football. Joining us is senior to be Omar Richardson for the Colonels. He's a defensive back. Omar, uh, a change in the helm for Frank Sheptock, who's uh, at Wilkes University for a couple of decades. Now a new coach comes in and Trey Brown. Uh, first up, let's talk about the change for you guys. And uh, I'm sure not as much change in the sense of you guys are still working hard and you still want to win some football games. Yeah, I mean, the attitude remains the same. Everyone still wants to work hard. The goal is still to win, be the MAC champion. So nothing really changes from that standpoint. The only thing that really changes is the scheme and who's at the helm of the program. Omar, how about for you on the defensive side of the ball? What's it been like for you? Uh, you really had a, a nice career there at Wilkes University and uh, a real nice year last year. Uh, defensively, not much has changed. I mean, the personnel is all still there. We've lost a couple guys and take more Jacobs and DJ Shuttleworth and Rob Houghton. Those are the guys that we've lost from last year. But other than that, I mean, nothing's really changed. We're running a new scheme next year. So other than that, we just go out and play. Players are still going to be the same. One thing changing in the scheme. How about number five on the football field? Tell us about uh, what type of player you feel that you are when you uh, hit uh, Ralston Field there. Um, type of player I feel like I am. I feel like I'm a passionate player, energetic. I like to show everyone that I'm having fun. I'm also, I consider myself to be a, an aggressive corner. I like to make sure that the guy I'm lined up across knows I'm being a space ball game and that he should be ready for that. How about the athleticism that you get in the uh, the MAC and the MAC? Uh, there, there's athletic tall guys. There's big tight ends. You get a whole a whole variety of uh, of guys that you have to cover. Uh, tell us about what you want to do to try to you know get that variety and of course uh, try to shut them down the best you could. Uh, when it comes to the guys that we play against in the MAC, I mean the biggest thing for me is just watching film so that when Saturday comes, uh, I know who I'm going against. I mean our, our cornerback coach, Coach Earl. Always told me watch film because that's the answer to the test. So when it comes to a faster receiver, I'll probably be a little more physical. It all depends on what they're showing me on film. Omar Richardson joining us here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. Well, tell us about your summer. Uh, what you have going on in your world? Are you are you at Wilkes University? Are you back home? What what are you doing? Because uh, you're a pharmacy major, so I'm sure you're you're busy studying uh, when you're in school. Uh, what are you doing the summers? Right now, I'm just home at my parents' house. Uh, I'm working at Pocono Medical Hospital. I'm a pharmacy intern there right now. So pretty much I work 8 to 4.30, and I get off, I work out by to 6.37, go home, eat, and then just repeat the process over and over again. I mean, I hung out with a couple of guys last week at a camp that we had up at Wilkes for a little kid, so let's play football camp. It was real fun. A couple of guys were up there, so we just did some one-on-ones. We uh, messed around with a lot of kids, just taught them about football and the game itself. So that's what I've been doing so far during the summer. Omar, how about being a dedicated student athlete? Uh, pharmacy, obviously a lot of hard work in that major. Tell us about uh, why you went into that major and, and what you enjoy about it and some of the challenges academically with that. I'm sure it's uh, it's not easy to uh, to get into that major and, uh, and to maintain what you do there in the classroom. I mean, the main driving force behind <clears throat> me choosing pharmacy was the fact that a lot of my family members have had cancer and I've lost a lot of family to cancer. So I've always wanted to give back to cancer and that's why I chose pharmacy as a as a goal and to fight pharmacy, fight cancer. So I mean my goal is to one day be a clinical pharmacist and work against the fight for cancer. So I mean when it comes with football and pharmacy, pharmacy and football do not mess and a lot of people will tell you that. Uh, the, how I succeeded it is I just stick to a tight schedule, practice, Study, study, practice, pretty much all of my life, except. Omar, you talk about the challenges that you've had with your, your family with uh, choosing the major you chose. How about the supportive part of the family, what they've done for you? And uh, I'm sure they're always there for you, and it seems like you're going to be there for them for years to come and, and what you chose as your career path. I mean, when it comes to family, I have a massive family. I mean, on my dad's side, my grandmother had 12 kids. She recently just turned 85. Wow. And in the picture that I sent you, you'll see that that's me and all my cousins. Not all of them. That's like a majority of them. So I have over 30 cousins and 40 great cousins. So, I mean, my family's big, and they're a big part of my support system. I mean, if they're not there at my games, they're there in spirit, and they're always texting me, telling me congratulations, do good job, and they're always supporting me with everything I do. So when you're bringing family to games, uh, if they're coming, uh, they're, <laughs> there's, a, there's a whole group of them that are cheering on number five, huh? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of noise. I mean, they make, you can hear them across the field. 
and they're all screaming high pitch screams and all that. So it's always a good atmosphere when they're around. It also gives me a little bit more motivation to play better because they don't always get to see me because we all live so far away from each other. So. Omar, when we talk about family, how about your family of colonels, uh, the guys that you play with at Wilkes University and, and get it done with on the field? Uh, talk about that group that you have. And as you become a senior here, uh, you know, only a certain amount of uh, guys, when they start out playing football in college, make it to the end. You're going to be with a, a unique group of, of guys that have worked hard and have made it uh, the four years or in some cases five years at Wilkes University. Tell us about the group of guys you've been playing with the last few years. I mean, a group of guys. I mean, everyone, I love the team. Everyone's great. Everyone's funny. I mean, we have a real strong connection. We do a lot of stuff together. We chill. We hang out. We study together. Like, it's a real strong connection. When it comes to seniors, I mean, we have a lot of seniors this year. We have guys from Ryan Berman to me to Nick Dawson, who's another fifth-year player like myself, and also Tim Busan, who falls under that. So when it comes to team, we have a lot of talent across the board from both offense and defense. I mean, I could go on on and on and on about the amount of time we have, but I don't want to take a full year time to do that. <laughs> well, we enjoy uh, listening to you, Omar, and, and definitely want to check you out when the field hits. Hey, you're about a month away from camp. Uh, tell us about your preparation. You said you're working out uh, after you're working a full day uh, in the summer, doing some stuff, uh, getting ready in your career path. But uh, tell us about some of the things that you're doing. What do, what do you think you needed to focus on and work on a little bit harder for this, your final senior year playing football at Wilkes University? I mean, I feel like this upcoming team will, season will be our most challenging with regards to the wide receivers that I'll go up against. I mean, there's receivers that I'll be facing have been all conference, preseason all Americans, all Americans. So, I mean, there'll definitely be, this will definitely be my hardest season, but I accept that challenge and I'm ready to go at it. So, I mean, every day I go out on the field, I start off doing like quick fundamentals, just going through, just going through the fundamentals and the PDs that Coach Earl taught us and taught me over the years that I've been with him. So I just go through fundamentals and I work out with a couple of ESU guys. Every Tuesday and Thursday we do uh, one-on-ones and seven-on-seven. So I work out with a couple of ESU players. So. Omar Richardson working hard in the offseason. Can't wait to see him hit the field for Wilkes University when the fall comes around. Omar, great to hear your story and, of course, uh, your career path and what it means to you that there's a deeper meaning and uh, just going out and earning a check uh, with uh, your family battling some challenges with cancer over the years. So uh, we appreciate hearing that and opening up to us a little bit. And We wish you well in your future endeavors. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you today. Omar Richardson, defensive back, Wilkes University Colonels here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.